Hello everybody and welcome to the World Cup first round match between Junior 84 and Ariokan. Uh, Ariokan with the Pro Elves won the toss and chose to kick. Junior 84 with Lizard Men. Um, Junior 84 doesn't play in Chance Ladder and qualified from the DBBC qualifier and he does quite well on tabletop um, tournaments. Um, Ariokan has, hasn't played many games in Chance Ladder. Only has a 53% win rating, and he qualified one of the three qualifiers from League from CDB. So it looks like we've got Germany versus France here, and uh, yes, yeah, should be interesting. I did cast this live, and uh, the turns were three minutes every single turn, so it wasn't it wasn't as easy to watch. So now this this should be a lot better now that the uh, the turns are a, are a lot faster. And Junior 84 just with a standard four block. I mean, well, standard is six block or five block in the guard on the crocs, but four blocks fine. And um, Ariokan proils oh, and he's gone three rerolls. And no, he's gone for the reserve rather than the apple. I actually prefer the apple. But, you know, it, it's fine. Oh, that's a rowdy foul, isn't it? Fouling a stunner player. I mean, loads of assists, to be fair. But um, thank God he was stunned there, eh? because otherwise... Oh, no, he brought that. That was, uh, that's rowdy, though, isn't it? I mean, he, he's an annoying player. He's bloodstep. Um, but, yeah, so the Pro Elves were tier two, so they get five normals and one double. So the double he's gone guard on a naked catcher, so no defensive skills whatsoever. Leader on the thrower for an, a 4 3 roll. He's got an apple on reserve. Um, a wrestle catcher, a dodge catcher, and dodge on both the blitzers. I would have personally gone guard, dodge guard on one of the blitzers, you know, to get a blood guard. Um, to me, that would be the appeal of pro elves. I, wouldn't, I don't see much appeal in them because I'd rather go wood elves. But I think if you're going to go pro elves, it would be to get two bloodstep guard guys and then maybe like later on it was a dodge, a dodge guard or a dodge mate or something a uh, block mate or sorry a dodge guard and like a catcher so, I mean the catchers are fast and stuff but they don't start with dodge so he's only got he's only got three dodge on the team and he's on the seven so it's and he's had to pay for all the dodge that's the thing isn't it wood elves start with five dodge they don't have to pay for and dark elves start with two dodge they don't have to play pay for and they can pay for you know spam dodge so spam dodge wow huge cars and the apple is used that's that's brave isn't it I, so that's why he's gone 12 players so he can foul which is fair enough like you only you only need four skinks to be able well you don't even need four skinks you only need one skink to be able to win the game um, I guess this does give him the option for fouling, and that was—I mean—that was a hell of an apple. If he didn't, <laughs> if that had been a uh, a non badly hurt, you know, that would it took two two players removed straight away for the lizards. And now it's going to be hard because they can just knock people down and base them up. It's hard to like elf screen like this when you don't have the dodge. That the good elf teams have. Has <laughs> there? Cheeky, cheeky skin quits, gets a cast. I mean, when I say good elves, I mean, you know, in, in, in progression, pro elves and, uh, pro elves and high elves are fine. Because, you know, they get okay at higher TV, but at low TV, like this, I just, I, you know, even though they're tier 2 instead of tier 1, to me, Dark elves and high dark, dark elves and wood elves are just so superior that I wouldn't ever consider using pro elves. But you know, maybe maybe Ariokan really likes pro elves. Maybe qualified with them. You know, not not everyone thinks the same, do they? So you know, if he, he must think it gives him the best chance. And you know, it's it's fair enough doing that rather than say using lizard men because he heard they were good. You know, at least he's sticking with what he knows and stuff. But, um, 
yeah, I would definitely rather rather go with Wood Elves. Wood Elves to me just seem better than, than Pro Elves in this format. So he's going for the three dice Mighty Blow Blitz. Sucks if he sucks if he boneheads. <laughs> Uses the reroll on it. Oh dear, I, I, I didn't actually see all of this game live, but you know that's the thing, isn't it? It's just typical that whenever you rely on your big guy to do something, he boneheads. It's it's so it's so reliable that that happens. Um, it's unbelievable, really. But you know, still they, they do give you a bit of power, don't they? He's he's I mean, especially on lizard men, he's a lot better than a skink. So, and humans, you know, he's he's a lot better than a lineman, and although he's a touch unreliable, the the crop, the big guys in general are unreliable. They all they all offer something that you can't get elsewhere. So it just sucks relying on them, especially as a lot of people are using a double to give block on him. Seems like doubling down on the unreliableness. Why didn't put an assist here to make this a 2D? Uses a reroll. Which you could have saved. He's, you know, he's, he's got a chance of one turn. Movement 8 and dodge. So, and edge 4, importantly. So I guess he should keep a reroll for the one turn. So yeah, he's looking, he's looking low on rerolls right now. He's Lizard man doing the lizard man thing of just switching from side to side whenever they want. Of course, they want to get forward a little bit as well, but just kind of go back in the middle, isn't it? See they can go forward. I wouldn't hate seeing a cage dive at some point from from the pro Isles because it's not hard, is it, to get in? Really five plus, like it's it's not ideal. Or four plus in this case. He's left a left a four plus dodging. No, he hasn't. Nearly left a four plus dodging. And yeah, he's left the hole here, but it's okay because it's miles away. So yeah, you know, like the, the dodging, a four plus dodging or something, or a three plus. Wait, we'll do three, four, three. And then a three, and then two dice. You know, maybe he might have to go for something like that. But that's the thing. That, that's the that's the problem that lizards have against elves, is it's never too hard for the elf to do some kind of BS to get hit on the ball, and it's going to be two dice because he's a he's a skink. So. Such unlucky, but at least he's used the leader reroll, so he wouldn't have cared if he uh, if he died. Well, you'd have cared if he died. Wouldn't have cared too much if he'd been KO'd. safe from the lizards. I, I like that they've been a bit patient. Some people have uh, been moving up too quickly, I think, maybe. Taking a few risks. They didn't have to, but the lizards have been pretty patient. And now turn five. They found themselves in the other half. Crocs on three guys. In quite a good little spot. Yeah, I think maybe that would have made like a bigger, um, a bigger cage, just just to guard against the cage dive a little bit. But he's tagging and screening a bit by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah. So tagging these, they're strength four, so they can base them quite effectively, and then they're screening as well and leaving the corner uncovered because it doesn't have to be covered. So good play from Junior so far. And limited options for Ariokan, really. I wouldn't say Ariokan's played, you know, played poorly or anything, but he, he just hasn't really had the chance to do much, has he? Yeah, 
this is the thing. This is the thing with rivers, isn't it? If you get in front of them, you leave all this all space over the side. Box this guy, blitz this guy, and now there's a cage over here, and it's it's uh they're, they're still good against elves, you know. They're getting to punch. They're getting to punch things regularly with not too much armor, so. It's a bit overblown, I think, how, how bad a matchup it is for Lizard Men. Maybe it's a better matchup when, like, you know, like, average coaching isn't as good as good coaching. <laughs> so while the stats uh, kind of heavily favor Wood Elves, I don't think, I think it's a lot closer with good coaches who, you know, may, may, maybe a, uh, it's easier for a bad wood elf coach versus a bad lizard man coach maybe it, maybe it's tilted a lot more in favor of the wood elves there so you can't you can't read too much into the stats on it and it's the same for the win rates isn't it you know just because people people haven't played in champs ladder it definitely doesn't make them bad it just you know you've got less information to make them you know an informed guess as to how you know who may have the advantage in, in any given game, but they're, they're for sure all good to just to have qualified for the World Cup, aren't they? But yeah, it's it's super hard. It is super hard to defend against the lizard. Just stupidly fast, aren't they? Stupidly fast and stupidly strong. So if you if you base up the Saurus, they just punch you. They don't they don't mind. And if you go like this here, well, you've left a lot of space here, so it's going to cage here. So he's only got one chance for a cage die. Maybe he could have gone for a cage dive earlier, or maybe he played it a little bit more aggressively, but I don't think he did anything wrong. I wouldn't hate just putting him in the front here. <laughs> Maybe it's from the GFI or something. Yes. Yeah, it's okay, isn't it? If you'd gone there, it would have been just a 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus to get through. So I quite like that. Solid. Very solid play from, uh, from Junior there. Solid drive. Pearls were never really in with a shot. I mean, they did lose lose two people pretty early, so didn't have a lot of options to stop it really. Just gonna punch the crocs. He likes punching the crocs. Oh man, a foul! It's a rowdy foul. Pushes him away, but the problem is he's going to get three dice under this garter into another three dice. Absolutely does the right thing there. And gets nothing for it. <laughs> but a, a vague chance for the uh, the Proils to get the one turn.
bigger chance of cross if he doesn't defend against it. <laughs> So it's like a vague defense against the one turn, but you can kind of split split between them, making it a bit harder to get the pushes, and then put a put a worse back line to dodge through. Obviously, it's not easy because he's got strength four, but he does have guard, so he should be able. And it's a tight LOS, so he should be able to get the pushes here. Probably would be better to do it with a 4 plus dodge and um, to hit through here and use the whole method, but rather than using the whole method. Quick snap makes it very possible. I wasn't sure about his setup, but super possible now. So let's have a little look here. I think the play would be to block block this Saurus with with this guy, push him to there, and then bring a bring somebody around to here, push him to there. Then you've got the block here to push him to there, and then this guy blocks last to get in the last square. So yeah, pretty pretty easy actually, especially as he's out. But he blocks with this guy, and that was that was the wrong one to block with. He should have been he should have been doing the last block to get him the third to go forward. First block to there, second to go there. I guess he doesn't even need he doesn't even need to get more than that though. So it's not wrong yet, but he had to fill in that square. That was really wrong. I think that that wasn't perfect, moving him there, but he absolutely had to get him. And the push square was bad. Yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty bad. The first one, he still got the blitz. He does do a crazy five plus dodge, but he hasn't filled in this square. And yeah, that was. I don't know if Ariokin, you know, hasn't gone for many one turns. He hasn't played many games in in the champs ladder. So you know, maybe he's inexperienced, but um. That he really should have been better there. That was that was a let off for Junior really. That that quick snap um, with the with the formation he had. That really really was high odds of a one turn there. I think. But he got away with it. Still got a Saurus KO. So that's that's pretty bad for him. Ten players. Ten, Eleven versus ten. Down a Saurus. It isn't so bad, but it's it's not ideal, is it? But you know, maybe the pressure got to him. And a lot of people have a plan in their mind for the one turn, and then they get a quick snap, and then they end up doing worse because of the quick snap. But um, and you know, there's pressure and everything, pressure nerves. I'm not hating on him for completely messing up the one turner, but <laughs> he did completely mess up the one turner, you know, it was unfortunate really, but yeah, that was that was a a poor effort at the one turn. Hate having the guard and these like having to move them in because he was protecting against a blitz a bit, wasn't he? Huge KO. Down one Saurus, it's not so bad, but down two Saurus, he's starting to struggle. Another double skulls. 
She doesn't have great blocking dice. Uh, really. Absolutely massive cars, unbelievable cars. Um, so now he's gone. <laughs> Junior's gone from yeah, I might be able to defend this to basically no chance down three Saurus. <laughs> what a swing on turn eight and turn nine to go from a full team to down three Saurus. Um, and now, if that one turner had been scored, Junior would be looking eliminated, wouldn't he? But now it's looking like overtime. Really, he's got to. Uh, he can't do much down three Saurus, really. Also, it's going to be hard to defend the Skinks now that he's got less Saurus. So, the Skinks will now maybe get targeted a little bit. Though, there's no tackle for them. But even block, it's not nice getting punched by block for, for Skinks. But definitely, the, the what he has to do this half, uh, Ariokin, is, is to hunt the Skinks down now. Now he's got this amazing advantage. I think, anyway. Watch out for the crocs, because you really don't want the crocs to base the ball and get a tail on it and then have to dodge away. Cab with escape with block. Could have made it three dice though. I wouldn't have hated making it three dice because now he's, he's ended up Based up, he can just punch him and he might get lucky, might he? Wow, foul. Foul with no bench. That's it, man. Mm. Yeah, I didn't really like that. I didn't really like that, uh, that foul there. I mean, he's already got such an advantage for the drive, he doesn't need to do it, does he? Uh, you know, fouling is, is like rolling the dice, isn't it? And, did did he need to roll the dice with three souls off the pitch? I don't think so. Maybe fouling the skinks to try and kill them all would be okay. But... Maybe Junior will go for another foul here. After. After casting that blitzer in the first half of the foul, he's gonna go back. I mean, I, 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 I hate fouling stun players, and especially as he's down two players now. Uh, you know, he's got ten players max. I do not endorse the fouling on either side here. But he gets a cas, <laughs> and it and it ends up a good trade, really, doesn't it? A skink for a, a skink for a blitzer, but I'm not sure it's a trade I'd be going for. They're both pretty rowdy here, making these fouls. After already taking cars. <laughs> Pass there. Maybe he's thinking about an early score. I think that's not such a good idea. I mean, I guess it's okay if the Saurus stay out, then it's not bad, is it? He's got so few players on the pitch, six players. If you score and then try to defend against six, score on turn 12 and then defend against six players, if, if the Saurus don't come back. If they do come back, it's eight. And he's only got nine, so... Risky, but I could see him going for it. No removal. I mean, just a KO, but it's certainly worth thinking about scoring turn 12 now, isn't it? Because, you know, if you lose the toss in uh, in overtime, you've got a good chance of losing, no matter what the teams and who the coaches are, you know, it's, there's a pretty good chance if whoever wins the toss wins the game. So, I really, you know, I can see the point in really not wanting it to go to overtime. So yeah, maybe we'll see the you know, nice score.
think I would. I think I would. I think I would roll the dice because he hasn't really got a sacking threat. That's the problem, though. You know, he's got dodge and he hasn't. He's only got one block and one wrestle. But still, the chance of him staying out. He can run the other side, so he, he can protect it reasonably well. But I think I would have gone for the score. Then. Oh man, the old handoff. Handoff to a to an elf catcher. I think maybe you would have uh Maybe 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 that was the good end. Maybe he'll regret not scoring there. Who knows? no real chance for uh, Junior to stop the storm now, I guess. But he's still got to try, hasn't he? Because if he gets a two-turn chance, it's a lot better than a one-turn chance. So yeah, he absolutely has to try to stop the, uh, you know, force the Royals to score earlier. Crop splits is one way. I like, I like the three dice crop splits, I'm not going to lie. I'm a fan of three dice crop splitting. I feel like he could have put more more pressure on this screen because now Ariokan can like double layer it, can't he? Which makes it very hard. Very hard to stop the stall. It's not for another foul. <laughs> he loves the fact this is two send-offs he's had. Two Kazis made to himself by fouling. Um, yeah, it's, especially these being KOs, I think it was a better better idea to just score than to make fouls. To be honest. Again, Jimmy not really putting too much pressure on. Fact is going completely the wrong way. <laughs> I don't get this man at all. And again, withdrawing, but not 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 really pressuring at all, is he? In fact, anti-pressuring. So both looking happy with overtime here. Always good to blitz a block a guy with wrestle, I think. Yeah, it'd be, I think it'd be better if this guy was here, but obviously there's no way he's going to put a get an unprotected guard player there, so has to keep him inside. Yeah, I think you've got to you've got to base up with Saurus here, haven't you? I feel like, I mean, I guess he doesn't want to, uh, I guess he wants to stop the reverse again. Because it could happen if this guy was around here, he could just run everyone across. Now he's got the crocs in, it's a bit riskier. Doesn't want to leave him the two turn, doesn't want to leave him the, uh, the two turn instead of the one turn. Should be able to make a little, a little cage there. <laughs> yeah, if he'd gone there, they, they could have done a skink dodge in and a cool block to serve. So I think it was definitely right to put him there to stop that. I don't think I don't think Junior can even base the ball here. Now. Not without crazy rolls then. Anyway. Oh yes, sir. Uh, I 
Oh, but he's got sidestep, hasn't he? So he would go to there. Ah, yeah, pretty, pretty good having sidestep there. So this is just going to be a dodge, isn't it? No point in anything else. Is that? No, no, he can block. I think he could have blocked there. I don't know. Doesn't matter. There was a guard, wasn't there? He could have probably just done two dice block. And a guard. Looks like he could have two dice block, which is obviously better. One in nine chance of failure instead of one in six. But he went for the dodge. And now a chance for Junior to one turn. A small chance. These seven players, if, if he had had nine still, or ten actually. Yeah, if, he was, if he hadn't found, so he had ten players, means these seven. Eight. <laughs> Counting not my strong suit. Um, then may, maybe that would have been the play to have, to have scored early. Maybe. Not really saying it for one turn at all, is he just hoping for a riot? And, but then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I'd have maybe set up for LOS blocks. I mean, this is good if there's a riot, it's good. Gives him the best chance of scoring, maybe, if there's a riot. And I guess scoring is the most important thing. But I would have been tempted to either try for one turn or just go for max damage. But, you know, playing for the riot is, is not wrong, is it? So now he just gets a three dice blitz into the crocs. He double skulls and uh, Junior actually told me that he didn't he didn't know the overtime form and that's why he rolled it. That's why he rolled. He didn't know. He didn't know about overtime, like how it worked. Um, but nevertheless, he should still have made it a three dice block, shouldn't he? Uh, and he did make it a three dice block in the in the start of the first half. Now this was a long old game. You know, they were both taken three minutes a turn. So, you know, maybe a bit of weariness there. But because absolutely first half he did the three dice, and there, there was no excuse for making that two dice. You know, although although you can excuse the uh, the reroll to not knowing how part overtime and stuff, that should have absolutely been a three dice blitz. And if he could have managed it, a three dice blitz into the box. So it's overtime. Flip a coin, you see who wins almost. Sora stays out. So, the lizard men win the toss and choose to receive. Still not many players, still only eight guys. But, thanks to these send offs, it's eight versus eight. <laughs> But they both they both did a lot of fouls. You gotta you gotta say eight versus eight favors the the elves, doesn't it? Even though they've only got eight, because they can simply base base the Saurus, and now there put their dodge players on the skinks, and all of a sudden they've got a hell of a lot more mobility. And it's hard for the skinks to stop them getting two dice on the ball. Right, doesn't make a lot of odds. But it would have paid off if it had been on turn eight. Interesting, I thought his plan was to block in and three guys for the cracks. But I guess because the ball's over here, 
And he's left one side. Always happens if you put all you guys over there, the ball goes over here. So yeah, he's just trying to get back. Oh, that makes sense. Don't really like blitzing the wrestler with block, but it's not bad. So yeah, he's got a screen. And two rerolls each. Bit of an elf stall here. Um, but you know, he could use that and then maneuver away, couldn't he? Tempt, tempt pressure in here and then get away, from, get out of dodge. leaving his player three, I think I'd have gone the other way. I think I'd have based up everything. I mean okay this guy's stunned, maybe do it after that turn. But I think basing everything is pretty good for the L. He's been out of time square movements. And they were taken. They were taken so long as well. It was real. It was a real hard watch live, to be honest. And yeah, this is the thing. Because he's gone an L stall, he's had to do a handoff to get forward. I really don't like, I really don't like elf stalling. I don't, I don't even like elf stalling with an elf team. But really risky with a, with a non-elf team. But he's got he's in scoring range with two players. So at least he's just trying to trying to end it here maybe. Stuck, isn't he? he is. A long way away. Yeah, side steps. So you can't. You can't block him. Block him and block him. And then what? Two dodges to score or something? And he gets the power. Oh, yeah, he's got the blitz. So that's just one dodge and two GFIs to score with a reroll the clock's ticking I like bringing back the safety before going for it but it looks like he's definitely going for it <laughs> has to use dodge makes the GFIs well I think uh, I think Junior 84 did quite well there it's always a struggle being down men as lizard men I think maybe maybe Ariokin could have been more he definitely could have uh, could have scored the one turn or I had a much better you know chance of the one turn and what he did got lots of armor breaks uh, which helped obviously but yeah well played at junior 84 and well played at Ariokin as well just just a couple of things wasn't it that maybe you know if he'd scored that one turn he would have won if he'd if he'd uh, if he'd won the coin toss in overtime he may well have won um so thanks for watching everybody if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic